The challenge we got with soils is we've been plowing it, plowing it, crop after crop, trying to get always more production out of it. And eventually that soil erodes physically and then kind of dies. In Europe, we estimate that about 40% of the soils are healthy only and the degradation is super fast. But the regeneration takes time. Only one centimeter of soil can be built within 30 years. We've been used to industrialize nature and to regenerate our soils, we need to go the other way, which is to understand it, to understand nature and try to work closer to it. So what we're doing in Earthworm is we work with brands and we try to better understand the soils, reconnect them to the soils and then measure the soil health. So we've created an open source indicator to measure soil health with scientists and with farmers that looks at all the aspects, chemical, biological, physical, so that we can know where we're starting from. We also look at what is the storage capacity of carbon in the soil. And then the second thing we do is we support brands, suppliers and farmers to see how they can transform together. It's not just the farmer who needs to transform, it's the whole chain, the whole system. Last but not least, we look at how we remunerate and incentivize farmers for what they're doing for, of course, our food, but also for society, because their soils store carbon for climate, they retain water, they prevent erosion, they do lots of things that are beneficial to society. For that, we've created our soils program across Earthworm, but starting in north of France, starting in India and in the US, where we work with a number of brands like Bimbo, McCain, Nestle and others that are committed to soil health, that are committed to regenerating soils. Our objective is to have, by 2025, 1 million hectares that are moving towards regenerative agriculture and 20 of the leading brands and companies committed to soil health and committed to regenerate their agricultural supply chains.